you doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for taking a couple minutes and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make homemade Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. Now, if you've never heard of Fireball Whiskey, you don't know what you're missing. It's been very, very popular over the last several years. Basically, it's whiskey that's been infused with a very strong cinnamon flavoring as well as a little heat. And uh, a lot of people like taking shots of it, particularly this time of year. We're in October now when the weather starts turning, gets a little bit cold outside. Taking some shots with your friends kind of helps warm you up from the inside out. Now there's a couple reasons why I prefer to make my own homemade Fireball Whiskey versus buying it at the store. The main reason is Fireball Whiskey isn't even considered a whiskey, believe it or not. Because in order to be considered a whiskey, you have to be at least 80 proof or 40% alcohol. Uh, and uh, Fireball doesn't uh, reach that plateau. They're actually only 66 proof or 33% alcohol. So if you're looking to make your own whiskey with a little bit higher proof, you can buy your own whiskey. I'm using Evan Williams. Um, this is a, a great inexpensive whiskey and it's actually 43% alcohol, so it's actually stronger than 80 proof. So that's one of the main reasons why I like to make it myself. The other reason is I'm making it with very basic, simple ingredients. Really, you just need the bottle of uh, bourbon of your choice. We have some cinnamon sticks. We have a half a cup of regular white sugar. And then to kick it up the heat, some red chili pepper uh, flakes. Or you can actually use the red chilies, you know, the whole red chilies. It's really up to you. And I'm going to help infuse the flavors using my sous vide machine. Now if you don't have a sous vide machine, you can still make this. It's going to take around five days once you put it in a container and you got to shake it every day or so and just let it all kind of infuse naturally. But with my sous vide machine, I'm going to be able to take a five day process down to a couple hours. So that's why I'm going to do it with the sous vide bath. The other reason why I like making Fireball Whiskey on my own is Back in 2014, uh, there was a little bit of a, a fireball scare. I guess uh, two European countries, Sweden and Finland, uh, stopped selling it because uh, they found out there was a propylene glycol, I think. I, I'm probably totally butchering the way that's pronounced. They found that in the whiskey. And that's actually a ingredient that's used in antifreeze. And I guess... Uh, the Swedish and Finnish uh, government regulations are much stricter than the FDA in the United States, so they actually pulled it off the shelves and refused to sell it anymore. Now, in all fairness, I think Fireball Whiskey has since solved the problem, and the, and the current ones, if you go buy it now, it doesn't have that ingredient in it. But really, when you make it yourself, you control what you put in it, you control the ingredients. When you're buying it off the shelf, you know, I, I don't know the process of how they make it. And you know what? If you want to enjoy a cinnamon whiskey, why not just make it yourself? It only takes a couple hours if you got a sous vide machine or make it ahead of time and in five days you make your very own Fireball whiskey. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. Now this process is extremely simple. Like I said, you don't even need special equipment. You don't need a sous vide bath. You just need these basic ingredients and then some kind of container. I use these uh, mason jars because I can plop them into my sous vide bath and uh, they work perfectly. But you can use just a regular bottle, whatever you want. Now, I'm gonna make this whole 750 milliliter bottle into my own homemade Fireball Cinnamon whiskey, okay? Now, so the ingredients here is for a 750. Now, 750 milliliter comes out to just over 25 ounces. So if you use a quart size mason jar, that's perfect because that they're actually 32 ounces. So uh, that'll allow for the additional ingredients. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a half a cup of sugar. We're gonna pour, pour that into the jar and then I got a half a teaspoon of the red pepper flakes we're gonna throw that in there now you can add more red pepper flakes if you like but you know I don't like it too spicy I like a little bit of spice but not crazy and now we're going to just add the 750 of the whiskey or bourbon of your choice I mean how easy is this I mean and I think once you try it homemade you're gonna be hard-pressed to go to the store and spend money 
making it yourself. The good thing is, save your empty bottle here because we're going to use this. I'm going to use a funnel and I'm going to strain it when I'm done sous vide it and pour it back into this bottle. And then I'll just, once you pour it in and it's done, this will have a great long shelf life just like any other whiskey. Okay? So I'm going to leave the cinnamon sticks out of it for now because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the lid on and I'm going to shake this a little bit. Try to get that uh, sugar dissolved a little bit, okay? It's going to dissolve with the help of the sous vide bath because we're going to be cooking it for between, you know, two to three hours at 140 degrees and that'll certainly help it. But just give it a good shake, okay? And then take four or five cinnamon sticks and we're just going to plop that right in. I mean, how easy is that? Okay? I'll shake it again. Now I'm going to get my sous vide bath. I'm going to get it heated up. We're going, like I said, 140 degrees for between two and three hours. So we'll be back in a second once my sous vide bath is heated up and ready to go. In the meantime, I'll just let this sit here. We'll be back shortly. All right, it just beeped. It reached 140 degrees. This is uh, real easy. Just take it, just drop it right in. Make sure it's fully submerged. Oops. And it's fully submerged. There you go. You want to heat it up now anywhere between two and three hours. I'm probably going to go right in the middle around two and a half hours. So that's it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. I'll be back in a few hours and uh, we'll take this out and uh, obviously have a taste test. See you in a little bit. All right. Welcome back. It's been uh, it's 10 minutes left. So it's been two hours and 20 minutes, which is fine. Uh, let me stop that. Now we're just going to pull it out of the water, which can be easier said than done. Let's grab a... There we go. And I can tell the sugar particles have dissolved. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it in a container with a couple inches of water on it and then we're just going to shock chill it with some ice. Just like so. Now it's uh, it's early afternoon, it's a little too early to be uh, taking shots of a uh, fireball whiskey. So I'm just going to go put this in the fridge, we're going to let it cool down, and uh, we'll be back a little bit later to sample it out. See you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, beverage review time. 21st Amendment Brewery. Brew Free or Die Blood Orange IPA. It says here, Indian Pale Ale Brewed with Blood Oranges and Natural Flavors. And it's got a picture of Abraham Lincoln with some oranges. I tried another one of their drinks. It was the Statue of Liberty with watermelons. <laughs> so that's what I'm having. And this is my son, Kyle. He was recently editing the video. And I never got the chance to tell him that he really needs to find out where the Statue of Liberty is. No, I'm saying it wasn't. Uh, didn't look like New York. And my son, Kyle, he loves root beer. He's trying. So, duh. Soda with an attitude, rock and root beer. And it says here, duh means many things to many people. So if people ask you, is this soda any good? You say, duh. <laughs> okay, so, so that's what you're gonna say. If mom asks you later, she comes out and says, hey, was that, was that root beer good? You go, duh. I don't know if they say that anymore. Do they say that? Duh. Um, that used to be like a like a valley girl saying way back in the... It's not quite to say it if you're being really stupid. In the 80s? Early 90s? I'm not quite sure when they said that. Uh, okay. The only time I ever hear duh is if I said if I'm being really stupid. Alright, ooh. Mm -hmm. This looks like a wheat beer. It's supposed to be an IPA. How's it smell? Good? I don't know how to explain the smell. Alright. Hmm. It smells good. I smell I'm trying oranges. to find a way to summarize how it smells, but I can't. As always, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. We're going to try some uh, delicious homemade fireball whiskey shortly. Cheers. Cheers, Kyle. 
Why doing a beer review on a whiskey video? Well, I'm doing the beer now, and I'll do the whiskey tasting a little later on. I smell a little bit of hops, and I definitely smell tropical. Not necessarily orange, more like a tangerine. Cheers! Hmm. It's a little bitter at first, but definitely has a little bit of fruit aftertaste and a little bit of hops. It's good. Mm. Definitely different. I think I'm not used to it. The orange has a little bit of bitterness to it. What do you th What do you think? How's yours? Um. So it um. There's um I. It, there's a ton, and I mean a ton of caramel, and it tastes like toffee in there, kind of. Oh. And it tastes like it's like a sir I'm drinking syrup. I don't, it doesn't even taste like root beer. Is that good or bad? Yeah, it's good. It's good? Mm-hmm. He's becoming a regular old root beer connoisseur. This is good. I mean, it's a little, it was a little bit, uh, at first, it's a 7% alcohol. It is pretty good. Just took a little bit getting used to there at first because it was a little bitter, but now it's getting a little bit. Now I don't taste it as much. I taste more of the fruity flavor. Oh, that is good. So what do you what do you say compared to some of your other favorites, like Virgil's or what was the other one that you really liked? Interesting. Oh no, how about compared to that caramel one you had a couple of videos back? The caramel root beer? Oh, that's still really good. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah, that one was pretty good. So would this be one of, one of your, in your top five, you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah? Probably All right. Good. Cheers. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to enjoy these beverages. Uh, I think we're going to go swimming maybe a little bit. And then uh, we'll be back in a little bit. And uh, at least I will be back in a little bit. He's a little too young to do the fireball uh, whiskey taste test. <laughs> well, even if I wasn't, I don't think I would. Nah, well, that's probably better you don't anyway. But I'll be back in a little bit, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Cheers. I'll stick with root beer for now. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks again. All right, here we are, guys. I've uh, had it in the fridge in the ice bucket for around three hours. Now it's been sitting out here on the counter, kind of coming to room temperature. It definitely looks a little bit darker than... Uh, the whiskey to begin with so you could definitely see some uh, some of that has uh, infused there's a few little red pepper flakes on the bottom I don't know if you can see that but we're gonna strain this I'm gonna shake it real good and uh, give it a taste test be back short right, guys you know what I figured just started drinking the beer I figured you know what let me at least get this strained off and maybe just take a shot and then at least I have a chaser so here it is it's been sitting in the fridge for around three hours. I took it around around an hour ago just to come to room temperature. Uh, shaked it real good. I got this unique pitcher which is pretty cool because it's got a very fine filter on it. So I'm just going to pour this in here and then I'm going to filter it and pour it back into the bottle. In fact, where is my... Uh, oh, here it is. My little, my little funnel. So that's all I'm going to do right now. Let's do, do a sniff here and see how this smells like. Ooh, definitely smell the cinnamon. All right. Yeah, the only thing we really need to strain out of here are going to be those uh, red pepper flakes. Well, you can see a lot of it stuck to the stuck to the mason jar, so I think this is pretty good. I think I pretty much got all the whiskey. Yeah. All right. Now, just gonna filter it all back into the original bottle. Let me make sure that doesn't come pouring off that lid. Here we go. Almost looks like it's going to be too much liquid. Oh, 
Come on. There we go. Look how easy that is to make your very own Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. All right. All right, here I am with my wife, Monica. Hi. We just don't want to, we want to make sure we don't uh, think this is regular whiskey. Really? <laughs> so we that had, was his idea. Had to put a sign on there. Homemade Fireball Whiskey. All right, the moment That's of truth. Original. <laughs> I had to get out the special shotgun. Uh, yes, shotgun. it's from back home in Alabama. Shot glass, Alabama shot glass. It's got a little uh, gun going through the shot glass. Yes, that's an Alabama shot. All right. Oops. Roll Tide. I'm spilling a little on my thing here. There, and I got this unique shot glass. It's actually, I think it's supposed to be a Romulan if you're a Star Trek fan. Yeah, where did you get that? I don't. I got that. I think at the Star Trek. Oh. Exhibit when they had it in Vegas at the Hilton. That was a long time ago. Many years ago. Yeah, I do like that. All one. right, it's unique. All right. <laughs> smell. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Cheers. Thanks for watching. You guys, let's take a little sip first before we take a shot. Okay, just okay. to. Mmm. Wow. Ooh, it is hot. I put some chili flakes in there. Oh, it just hit me later. Bit. Dude, that's going to burn going down. <laughs> it's already burning my throat after just a little sip. I just put a half a teaspoon. Uh, look. Are you trying to kill me? It's just got Just so you flavor. guys can see, all the, 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 the chili flakes are in still in the Apparently mason jar. Apparently not, because they're but, in there. But they definitely seeped out during the uh, sous vide process. Oh my gosh, sure. my throat's on fire. Oh, but how, can you taste the cinnamon? Can I taste the cinnamon? My stomach's like <laughs> roaring at me. I think he's trying to kill me. It's got a good flavor, but then when it hits you, it's like... You've never tried Fireball, have you? I don't know if I can drink that. Oh, it's come gonna on. hurt. I mean, not not the not the whiskey. This it's would be the, fun to make for your friends that normally drink Fireball. Just give them a little it's bit It's the chili pepper. Food. Don't put so much chili pepper in well, it. Well, you can adjust that. If you don't want chili, uh, you know, you don't want it hot, then don't put any in. Just put the cinnamon in. You'll have oh cinnamon gosh. whiskey. But, my throat. Come on, come on we can so, do this. Why don't you do a shot first? Okay, but not you, me, both. I don't part. know, but it's like come my on. throat's hurting. It's burning my throat. It's not the whiskey. Cheers, guys. Here it goes. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it is. <laughs> Ooh, it is hot. Oh, your face is turning red. You're right here. I got a beer. No, I'm chase. good. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna just. No, no, come on, come on, Dude. come on. You're on camera. I don't, don't care. I don't want to hurt my throat. That's don't my throat's me. delicate. For Alabama, <laughs> for your Alabama fan. Oh my gosh. Can I just Ooh. have bourbon? No, it hurt. Huh. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt. It's just I'm not used to it. I don't drink a lot of Fireball. I've just had shots. I with, can drink whiskey. With I can drink bourbon. And friends. I can't drink the cinnamon and the red it's pepper. Usually, usually you're at a bar, you're having a couple drinks. So, hey, let's have uh, Fireball shots. And When this, you're like 21? <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this happened more recently than that. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> what do you think? Is it too much chili? Maybe I do a quarter teaspoon it's next too, time. <laughs> it's too much chili, but oh my gosh. That hot ramen challenge we did was nothing compared to this. This is hot. It's not, like I said, it's not the it's not the alcohol that I'm complaining about. It's the red it's pepper. Heat. It's well, really hot, hot but this isn't cinnamon. This is the red pepper burning my tonsils I, as I speak. There are people I saw when I oh. looked, when I looked for this recipe <laughs> oh, online. Gosh. There were people instead of the the, the flakes like I use oh. would actually get five or six red peppers, chili red peppers, and stick them in the mason jar. And I'm sure that's even more intense. Oh, my nose is running. <laughs> okay, you know what? Look back on our round ramen challenge, and I was a tough one with the hot stuff. This, I'm telling you, I'm not being a weak I'll leave this a link below if you want to hot. see the ramen challenge. I would definitely do half the amount of red pepper that he did, and probably half the amount of cinnamon. Is it's it got, too cinnamon? It smells good. It's got good flavor. It's just the overall, you know, I don't know. It's, it's very, very strong. I think it's not bad at all. Oh, my gosh. 
As long as you do it in moderation. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm good. No, on, no, no, on, no, on. no, 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 I'm good. <laughs> oh my gosh. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. If you like it, hit the like button. Please consider subscribing, and I'll leave a link above to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com. Come on. One Seriously? Last. This is like a half a shot. Come on. Oh, man. For the sake of the video. Thanks again, guys. Cheers. Thanks. No, come on. Come, come on. You're killing me. You know that? Woo-hoo. I like to sit on it, but you're right. Woo-hoo. Maybe a quarter teaspoon, unless you like it hot. Oh. But it's good. Oh. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> now my lips hurt. Oh, my gosh. Are you wow. <laughs> I'm, I, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> oh, my God. Eric.